Hey, what's up guys? My name's Faison and in this video, I'll be going over how you can effectively balance your elastic launch glider to improve your results. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. If you're new to the channel, I post videos on Science Olympiad build events every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're interested in getting tips and tricks for your Science Olympiad build events, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be updated every single time I post a new video. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Now, if you've ever built an elastic launch glider like this and you haven't checked your center of gravity but still try to test fly your glider, then you probably notice one of two things. Either your glider will stall up or it will nosedive. And both of those things have happened to me when I built my gliders, but there is a workaround solution, and that is to balance your glider. And although, yes, it is important to put time to minimize the weight of your glider, maximize your wingspan, and a lot of other factors, balance is what really brings everything together and actually lets your glider fly. Without any good balance, your glider is not going to be able to sustain a smooth flight. In fact, I would be going, I would be willing to go as far to say that a maximum weight glider that is perfectly balanced will 100% beat a minimum weight glider that is not balanced whatsoever. So in this video, we will be going over how to balance your glider. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. But in order to understand how you should balance your glider, you have to understand center of gravity, which is the key concept that balance relies on. And the easiest way to know or learn about center of gravity is that it's the point on any object where it is completely balanced and completely stable. Now, I really like this example that Mark Rober used where if you stand up, you have a specific center of gravity close to your body region. But if you bend down, your body actually pushes your hips outward while your body leans forward to sort of maintain that center of gravity. Now, if you put yourself against a wall and try to do that same task of bending down, making sure your body can't push itself backwards, then you'll fall forward because your center of gravity will be pushed too far up. Now, this same concept is going to apply to elastic launch glider. You're, there is one specific point on your glider where you really want all of the weight to balance on. Usually it's under the wings, but the exact placement is specific on your glider. But you will, be, you will need to do a couple different things to ensure that your center of gravity is in the correct position, which we will discuss right now. So in the beginning of this video, I sort of, I sort of started by saying, if you just built your glider and tested it, it will either stall or nosedive. So if you want to account for any stalling, let's say when you tested your glider, it pitched up and then flopped back down. If that happens, that means your center of gravity is too far back. You have to put some more weight in the front of your glider on your nose if you want to account for it. And you see I have a bunch of clay right here because my glider was stalling. Typically, stalling is what most gliders have to deal with. It's not usually nose diving, but we will be discussing it. Now, if your glider is happens to be nose diving, which is not that frequent, but can happen from time to time, Either you have too much clay on your nose, so you want to take some of that off and remove it, or if you have nothing on your nose and your glider was just built very heavily, you can always put nose or weight on the tail. Now, I always recommend using some sort of modeling clay, and if you're going to put it on the tail, you want to put it in a place where it's not really going to affect drag as much. So, sort of right in the place where your horizontal stabilizer and tax your vertical stabilizer and that should be the best place for balancing or you know, counteracting the nose diving of your glider. 
If you want to learn more about this topic, make sure you hit the first link in the description below. It will take you to my website where I go a little bit more in detail on this topic. But if you found any value in this video, make sure you hit that like button, drop any questions or feedback down in the comments below. But finally, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel because I post videos on Science Olympiad building events every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.